So when I said it takes three days, if tomorrow you want to start beginning the process of becoming an early riser, you'd set your alarm for five. Eight. No matter what time you went to sleep the night before, you're going to get up and you're going to do the four things that I described. Maybe leave out food if you don't want to eat. Maybe leave out caffeine if you want to delay by 90 minutes. It's going to hurt. And then by the early afternoon, you'll be dragging a bit. And you just have to be careful to not overindulge in caffeine, which will then cause you to fall asleep later. Then you want to go to sleep at your now naturally slightly earlier sleep time. The next day, you'll notice you'll it'll be a little bit easier to do the morning routine I just described. And by the third day, you ought to be waking up with or before the alarm by a few minutes or moments because your circadian clock has phase shifted, okay? It's phase advanced, as we say. Your circadian clock intrinsic to you generates a 24.2 or a 24.3 hour rhythm. It's not perfectly 24 hours. And that we believe, we don't know, but the just so story is that it's, that it's such that 